In April 2018, one of the world's most recognizable esports organizations, Optic Gaming announced that they would be expanding to India. Their first foray into the country would be via a local CSGO team whose players would be selected via open tryouts for everyone to participate in. Among the chosen elite was a name that has now forever been etched in the memories of millions, Nikhil Forsaken Kumavat. His actions left Indian esports fans in turmoil and outrage as international flag bearers of Counter-Strike were left looking at India with a sour taste in their mouths. But what exactly happened? How did a formerly whack band player manage to make it into the ranks of one of the world's most prestigious esports organizations? What led him to cheat on the main stage of a CSGO LAN tournament while representing his country in China? This is the story of the meteoric rise and fall of Forsaken and Optic India. After picking up their first CSGO roster back in January 2016, Optic Gaming announced that it was going to expand its reach across the globe via Optic India. Their global expansion also included forays into other regions such as Brazil and Southeast Asia. The news about Optic India was received with equal amounts of shock and surprise. The Indian community celebrated the arrival of the first foreign gaming organization on Indian soil, while the reactions from the global CSGO fans were mixed. Optic came to India with high hopes from the region and an aim to create a team that would eventually compete at an international level. In order to identify the best Indian CSGO players, Optic announced an open tryout. The news spread like wildfire as thousands of aspiring CSGO players from all across the country signed up. This was the first time ever that an open tryout for an eSport team was being conducted in India. It was more than just a gaming tryout. For many, this was a chance to have their skills validated by the best in the business. The tryout was no joke. Optic Gaming partnered with local companies like So Strong and AFK Gaming in order to help them plan and communicate the entire exercise. Candidates had to undergo an extensive evaluation based on psychometric and theoretical tests. Those that cleared the tests were then put through a practical evaluation where they played multiple matches on LAN while being monitored by Optic Gaming scouts and so strong coaches and analysts. At the end of this process, eight players were shortlisted as the Optic India Top 8 but were not declared as the final lineup for the organization. Ultimately, after rigorous practice sessions with those eight players, Optic India declared its first final roster on 1st June 2018. Sabya Sashi Antidote Bose, Rishabh Formless Tomar, Vishal Hevan Sharma, Agneya Mazil Kaushik, and Nikhil Forsaken Kumavat. The team was a good mix of new faces and Indian CSGO veterans. However, the community was concerned about Forsaken's inclusion in the roster due to his shady past. Forsaken, while playing at the Aces ROG Masters 2017 SEA qualifier with a team called Semperex, had been accused of being the owner of a WAC band Steam account by members of Team ERT. ESL India reported the same to ESIC who investigated and found this out to be true, declaring a two-year ban on Forsaken. He did not give up though and relentlessly appealed to the ESIC in order to prove his innocence. As a part of a more detailed investigation, AFK Gaming spoke to Forsaken where he adequately proved that the Steam ID was issued to WAC bands after he had sold it. He also gave evidence that he was not the owner of the ID as he himself had purchased it from someone else. All of these made for a compelling case against ESIC's verdict, raising the question whether Forsaken's ban was completely justified or not. Forsaken approached ESIC with the evidence mentioned in AFK's article which proved to be of significant importance as ESIC realized that they had declared an incorrect punishment. Though the matter had been taken care of, many so strong users and professional players still believed that the player cheated in-game based on a few fishy plays but did not have any solid evidence to back their claims. With the roster in place, Optic India began their journey by participating in the ESL India Premiership 2018 summer season. The squad quickly rose through the ranks and qualified for the Master Division where they would fight alongside India's best CSGO teams for a chance to make it to the LAN finale. Optic India was far from perfect and certainly not a top contender, but yet they had shown quick results and great potential. To further grow as a unit, 
A week before the start of the fall season, the team signed on Lucas YB Groening as their coach and sixth man. This was an unexpected move that proved to be very valuable as YB brought with him a treasure trove of knowledge and leadership abilities. The team was practicing hard and this was evident in their performance as they won every small event that they participated in. They went on to create history by going undefeated in the online stage of ESL India Premiership fall season, defeating some of the top Indian teams like Entity Gaming, Brutality and Too Easy. Within just four months, Optic India had established themselves as one of the best teams in India. Armed with the knowledge and confidence of champions, they began trying their hand at competing in the Southeast Asian circuit. Their first foray was at the MSI Masters Gaming Arena 2018, where they were knocked out by Lucid Dream, one of Thailand's best teams. Despite losing the match, it was a much closer affair than the fans anticipated, which once again reaffirmed their beliefs in Optic India's potential to compete with the world. Next was the Extremesland Indian Qualifier. The winner of this qualifier would have a chance to represent the country at an international LAN tournament. Optic India faced tough competition from Entity Gaming but made it through nonetheless, thus cementing their position as the best team from India. He's gonna push through toilets, doesn't find the first one, and it is done. Optic India are your champions here today of the Zobi Asia Extremes LAN 2018 Indian qualifier, taking down Entity Gaming 2 0 in the grand final. Before the team headed to the main event of Extreme Land, Indian CS fans got to witness a teaser of what was to come in China as Optic India participated in the SEA qualifier of Toyota Masters Bangkok. The team put up a phenomenal performance, making their way to the semi-finals where they mounted an incredible stand against the Korean powerhouse MVP PK. The way the team played at this qualifier was a big boost to their morale for the upcoming LAN events. Fans' expectations were at an all-time high as never before had an Indian Counter-Strike team looked so formidable. And so, after claiming the ESL India Premiership Fall Season Trophy, the team went on to play their first ever international LAN event, Zavi Extreme LAN 2018. Optic India was representing not just their organization but the entire country at this tournament. Fans were passionately supporting the team on forums and on social media. The team got off to a rough start as they hit a huge speed bump in the form of the top Malaysian team Frostfire, who took them down quite effortlessly on Nuke. This was especially disturbing since Nuke was the go-to map for Optic India whenever they found themselves in a desperate need of a win. Things looked grim for the boys in blue, but hope was rekindled on day 2 as Optic India stormed through the ranks of Revolution, punishing them hard on Inferno. They were holding their own on cash as well when suddenly, after the 19th round, disaster struck. Match officials swarmed around Forsaken's PC for what many assumed was just a technical glitch. However, the reality that emerged was far from this. While the admins were checking his PC, they found a command prompt window running in the background which he immediately tried to close. A little later, the admins found three suspicious files on his PC, one of which was named WordyXE. Forsaken allegedly deleted those files, however, in an official interview, he claims that he only attempted to close the window and that the files were automatically deleted by Windows Defender. After recovering the deleted files, the admins traced their source back to a well-known website for obtaining CSGO cheats. This was enough evidence for the admins to disqualify Optic India from the tournament. This was a horrifying moment for the entire Optic India organization and a huge blow to the Indian eSport community. Fans were devastated and ashamed that a representative of Indian CSGO had let them down to this degree. Unsurprisingly, Forsaken came under a heavy barrage of abuses and threats, forcing him to disappear off the grid. The incident was followed by Optic Gaming packing their bags and getting themselves as far away from this mess. The roster disbanded, and along with it, many of the glorified expectations from Indian CS as well. Shortly after, ESL India also conducted their own investigation where they found the cheat programs on the SSD that Forsaken had used at the tournament and handed over all the evidence to the Esports Integrity Coalition, who subsequently slapped Forsaken with a five-year ban that prevents him from participating in all esports-related activities with any ESIC member organization. It only takes one person to spoil the reputation of an entire country. His actions were a bane to Indian esports. Optic Gaming's arrival in India could have ushered in a new era for Indian CS. 
The players had a lot of promise but were dealt with a terrible blow by the actions of one of their own. But not all is lost for esports in India as teams continue to train harder than ever and tournaments continue to witness growth in terms of both prize pool and viewership. Subscribe for more CSGO content and don't forget to click the bell icon to never miss another update. Thanks for watching and we will see you next time. I'm coming home.